Hi boys and girls, it's Beach Baby Bob, back with another, another great story. Yes, you're in for a real treat today. This is a story about the Canadian North. Yes, it's a beautiful land, it's very cold, there's lots of animals up there, it's very um, forested, lots of lakes and rivers and mountains, and that's what the story's about today. You're going to love it. Today's story is called Thank You Brother Bear. It was written by Hans Baumann and the pictures were made by Eric Carl. And this is the front cover. I, before we begin though, I'd like you to know that Hans Baumann was um, a very, very famous children's book storyteller from Germany. And Eric Carl he was a very, very famous, and still is, American illustrator. And when he was six, Eric moved with his family to Germany, and he studied art there, and that's how he met Hans Bowman, and the two of them put this book together. So I hope you love it. Long ago, and far away to the north, where even the great sea freezes, to solid ice in the winter's cold, there lived three brothers named Strongbow, Shining Spear, and Chip. Strongbow and Shining Spear were great hunters, but Chip, who was much younger than his brothers, loved the animals of the forest too much to hurt them, so he didn't hunt. Yes, they had a dog. The three brothers lived in a small wooden house deep in the forest with their grandmother, Nuni, and their little sister, Bright Sun. Their parents weren't alive anymore. Whenever Strongbow and Shining Spear went hunting, Chip stayed home. When his brothers were far away, Chip would call to the other brothers, the ones nobody knew about. Bear! Beaver! Moose! It's safe! You can come out now! One autumn day, as the cold wind began to blow, Strong Bow and Shining Spear were going to go hunting. They told their younger brother Chip to look after everything. Make sure that Bright Sun, their little sister, was safe and Nunny would help him if he really needed her. He agreed. Bright Sun said, don't worry. I'll be all right. She was smiling her pretty smile as always. We will be gone for many days this time. We need to collect a lot of food for the winter. One day, Bright Sun stopped smiling. She got very sick. She had a fever and she couldn't get out of bed. Nunny tried all the remedies she knew, but still Bright Sun grew sicker by the day. Nunny said to Chip, only wise Raven has the medicine that, that can cure her. And wild Raven lives far, far away across the wild river, the wide swamp, the high mountain, and the deep lake. What can we do? said Nunny. Chip had an idea. Without telling Nunny or his little sister, Bright Sun, Chip quietly left. Chip walked through the forest until he came to the bank of the wild river. He noticed the salmon swimming upstream. The water was rushing. There were big boulders in it. 
What could he do to get across? Suddenly, he heard something. Chip, Chip, it is I, Beaver, your friend. I can help you. Wait a minute. And Beaver quickly chopped down a tree to make a bridge across the wild river. Oh, thank you, said Chip, and he hurried across the bridge to the other side of the river. Thank you, thank you, Brother Beaver. There on the other side of the wild river, Chip found a wide, muddy swamp. It looked very dangerous. I can't get across that swamp, he thought. Grandmother was right. I'll never be able to do it. But just then, his friend Moose came by and said, I will help you. Hop on. I will take you across the muddy swamp. It is easy for me. I have big feet. They're special. I do not sink in the mud. Oh, thank you, thank you, said Chip. On the other side of the swamp, Chip saw a tall, very tall, rocky mountain. Oh, no, I'll never be able to get over that. When all of a sudden, he heard a voice. Hey, Chip, Chip, it is me, Bear, your friend. Hop on my back. I have great claws. I can take you over this mountain with no problems. Oh, thank you, thank you, said Chip to Bear. Chip finally came to the wide lake. The water looked icy cold. What would he do? He can't swim across that lake. It is too far and too deep and too dangerous. When suddenly he saw a very large black bird coming his way. I can help you, said the bird. Just jump in the water and start to swim and follow me to the other side. I will take you over to Wise Raven's house. Chip was desperate, so he dove in the water and magically he turned into a fish. Well, he didn't have any trouble at all. He followed the big black bird to the other side to where Wise Raven lived. Wise Raven came out of his house and said, How can I help you, little boy? Oh, Wise Raven, my grandmother said, suggested that I come and get some special medicine for my younger sister, Bright Sun. She is very sick. My, my grandmother has tried every remedy, but nothing, nothing has helped. Can you help me? Well, first, said Wise Raven, I must get you a blanket to keep you warm. Oh, oh, yes, I am very, I'm very wet. Uh, I, I'm a boy again. I don't know what happened, but I need that medicine and I need it in a hurry. Wise, why, wise raven was glad to help. Thank you, thank you, thank you, said Chip. I must get on now. I must get home. I will take you back across the wide lake in my boat. Oh, thank you, said Chip. Bear was waiting at the foot of the mountain. Come, I'll help you get across the mountain again. Oh, thank you, said Chip. Moose was waiting at the very, very mucky swamp. Hop on my back. I'll take you back across the swamp. Oh, thank you, said Chip. Beaver was also waiting at the wild river. Chip, Chip, hurry. Come back across the bridge. You must get home. Thank you, thank you, Beaver. As Chip approached the house, he noticed that his sister was still in bed and very sick. I hope the medicine will help, Bright Sun. Noonie, his grandmother, was very upset. She yelled at him, Chip, Chip, where have you been? I've needed you. Where have you been? I was worried about you. Chip gave his grandmother, Noonie, the medicine. After a few days, the animals came to visit. 
there was bear, moose, and beaver. Oh, are we ever glad that you look happy again in your smiling bright sun. Oh yes, that medicine helped me a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you for helping my brother, Chip. Just then the two brothers returned, strong bow and shining spear. They had bags and bags of food. They had killed many animals for the winter food and collected many fruits and berries. Who, who are these strangers at our place? Chip, who are these strangers? They are not strangers, said Chip. They are my brothers. They are Bright Sun's brothers. They are Noonie's brothers. They are your brothers too. We have no brothers. We only have you. Who are they? Are they dangerous? Noonie said, No, 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 boys. Sit down, have some food, relax. I want to tell you a story. Long ago and far away to the north, where even the great sea freezes to solid ice in the winter's cold, there lived three brothers, said Nuni. Their names were Bear, Moose, and Beaver. Well, boys and girls, moms and dads, I hope you like that story. If you could smash the like button, that would be really great. If you could maybe subscribe, there's a subscribe button too. Push that button and also, if you have any comments, I'd like to hear from you. Write the comments down below. Stay tuned. There's another story coming soon. Bye.